Hello students, up until previous class um, or we concluded the previous class with the definitions of um, uh, Lyapunov exponents and uh, when do we call uh, a system basically chaotic or ergodic and so on. So, we will continue um, with the topics on uh, chaos, chaos theory and uh, we will define uh, terminologies like fractal, uh, fractal dimension and reconstruction. Um, that, those are the two uh, topics that I wanted to cover in this chapter and then we will move on to uh, stiff differential equation. Right. So, to just to give you an idea of um, uh, fractal dimension and uh, um, reconstruction, let us um, introduce the uh, definition. So, fractal uh, dimension. So, as I told you that uh, this chaos theory is independently a separate course, uh, but since here we are trying to compress everything in um, 5 or 6 lectures, it is um, um, it is uh, giving you a gist of it basically. So, um, the fractal dimension, um, uh, the definition goes like this. So, basically we know that um, the, the notion, uh, the notion of uh, dimension, the notion of dimension uh, of a set uh, x um, in Rn is not uniquely defined, right? Is not uniquely defined. So, if you recall from um, those results from linear algebra where you, where you determine the dimension of a vector space and all that. Uh, so, they are uh, depending upon what kind of space you have, what kind of operations that you are defining. Although the elements were chosen from Rn, um, uh, depending upon uh, the number of uh, linearly independent vectors that actually generates that, uh, that vector space uh, um, x, uh, you have the dimension uh, of that vector space corresponding to that. So, the in general, the notion of a set x uh, in Rn, uh, when you say that uh, the notion of dimension of a set x in Rn, um, it is not uniquely defined, right? And um, uh, if you want to, uh, if we want to give um, a short overview of the uh, uh, of the current definition, so it basically goes like this: um, the dimension, the dimension uh, definition, the dimension definition closest um, to our intuition basically, our intuition uh, is uh, the capacity d cap, is the capacity, capacity uh, d cap. What is the d cap? We will define below d cap. So, the um, uh, or to introduce, so to introduce introduce um, the definition to introduce the definition introduce the definition um, we cover to introduce this definition basically to introduce this definition we cover x we cover x with n identical n identical non overlapping non overlapping boxes so in case of if it is a inter, if it is a uh, if it is an interval uh, on in r then in that case you have n non overlapping uh, small intervals uh, by which you want to cover this capital x right um, so let l small l <coughs> be some be some uh, length scale, length scale characterizing, characterizing the box size for the volume, Vt of such a box, we have v t is equivalent to l to the power n, alright. Right. 
so more like length into breadth into height so l to the power n okay so this is called scaling relation so this is called scaling relation scaling relation uh, we can call it as equation number 1 and uh, the scaling symbol this means that means that the relation holds in the limit l goes to 0 right and uh, that a constant of proportionality is ignored proportionality is ignored right is ignored so next uh, uh, the scaling arguments like one uh, uh, given by one we want to give it for capital X so for uh, given L now we will uh, try to connect it with capital L so for a given a uh, capital X for a given um, small L let n L be the minimum number of boxes minimum number of boxes needed to cover x the capacity is then <clears throat> is then defined as is then defined as n l equals to l to the power minus of d cap this implies that this implies sorry uh, this implies implies that d cap is equals to by definition minus of limit l tends to 0 um, log of n l by log of l of course to the base e this is relation number 3 right so this d cap that means uh, how many number of uh, boxes that we actually need um, that uh, capacity this nl uh, uh, and this uh, d capacity can be related uh, by this relation number 3 right so this d cap actually gives us uh, the more or less uh, the dimension of this uh, set x in rn right um, now um, now it is simple so it is simple to check that d cap uh, has integer values <coughs> integer values for objects like Um, a point as I was saying if you have known shapes like a line or a square and so on a circle uh, sorry a cube and so on right the numerical evaluation the numerical evaluation of d cap for general x for general x uh, directly follows from its definition follows from its definition right definition 3 uh, usually capital x is characterized characterized 
by a large number of points on capital X and uh, this set of points if it is not the known shapes like line or a cube or a square so then in that case uh, the capital X is characterized by a large number of points on X and this set of points um, is covered with boxes is covered with boxes that contain covered with boxes that contain uh, at least one of the points one of the points right and uh, if the if uh, the log of nl um, is plotted as uh, the function of log of L log of L uh, a curve results whose slope provides an estimate for d cap right. for d cap. So, this is uh, this d cap is actually giving us uh, the dimension of the set x and uh, we can numerically compute it using the definition 3 that we have just derived and uh, if um, uh, it is a known shape then it is always an integer value otherwise we will get the value after computing this uh, numerical uh, after computing this numerically right. Now, the definition uh, 3 that we have just given the definition the definition 3 is generally is generally uh, not applicable right is not applicable because there is a reason because the limit does not always uh, exist right and uh, this is caused by the condition this is caused by the condition that all boxes must be equal right so this this due to this condition and this problem this problem is alleviated by the house of this dimension by the house of house of house dorf house dorf dimension d o r f dimension. So, what happens in Hausdorff dimension? So, here for a given L for a given L the boxes may be of different size may be of so they should not be always of the same size may be of different size which is less or equal to L uh, with such and uh, with such an unequal with such uh, unequal not and with such unequal boxes we try to cover x as efficiently or closely possible simply as possible right so let nl so how do we define this uh, house of uh, dimension so let nl be the minimum minimum number of boxes 
uh, needed to cover x to cover x so the house draft house draft dimension is the unique number dh such that um, let us go to the next page such that limit l tends to 0 will have summation uh, i running from 1 to n l uh, l d i which is equals to 0 if d is greater than d of h and uh, equals to infinity if d is less than d of h where l i is the characteristic size of the ith box right uh, so we can now instead of going via the definition of um, dimension for the set x that we gave by equation number 3 um, where it always depends whether the limit exists or not because we have assumed equal number of uh, the size of the boxes are uh, equal so here we assume that in, uh, in in order to get rid of that definition we um, came up with uh, something called house of dimension and in case of house of dimension we can have boxes of unequal sizes uh, it's just that uh, the house of uh, dimension uh, that can be defined via this definition right so let us call it as equation number 4 all right um, although although um, this concept or this definition although this concept has some theoretical advantage some theoretical theoretical advantages advantages um, its practical use is very limited its practical use is very limited because uh, covering with boxes coverings with boxes of different sizes of different sizes um, are hard to handle are hard to handle and uh, there are other uh, concept of uh, dimension that basically um, uh, uses the concept of measure um, and so on so i'll just going to i'm just going to write them uh, down here so other uh, dimension other dimension concepts usually uh, use uh, measure mu on x for attractors of dynamical system for attractors of dynamical system dynamical systems we have introduced the definition we have introduced the definition of mu that was in the previous class the definition of mu um, uh, so let th let us cover capital x capital x with uh, identical boxes identical boxes of size l then m i 
is equals to measure of box i is the probability probability of finding the system in box i when observed and observed at an arbitrary time and uh, then we have the correlation function then we have the correlation function as uh, capital P Q L equals to summation uh, i running from 1 to uh, capital N L M I Q right and uh, let us call this as equation number equation number 5 this one as equation number 5 right um, if the boxes uh, with relatively large with uh, with relatively relatively large values of m i contribute contribute the most uh, note that so this one is uh, if the contribute the most uh, to pql uh, as q is increased so let us not start the sentence with if uh, just the is fine so the boxes is increased. Uh, so, for large values, so for large values of Q, the regions most visited by the system dominate the sum in 5 dominate the sum in equation number 5 and uh, we can introduce or we may introduce a family of dimension a family of dimensions dimensions dq with Q greater or equal to 0 as dq is equals to limit q tends to 0 1 by q minus 1 log of pqt uh, pq l by log of l this is equation number 6 and uh, it is clear it is clear that T cap, the first uh, term that we defined at the beginning of the lecture, is also is also a member of this family because d zero is equals to d cap, right? When q is equals to zero, then this will actually reduce to d cap, which was defined earlier. And uh, if we uh, keep on doing, then uh, we can see that d1 will be limit l tends to 0 i l by log of l, where i l is equals to summation i running from 1 to n l 
m i times log of m i. So, d 1 basically is called the information dimension. Information dimension. Right. So, basically, uh, this um, uh, d cap, the dimension of the uh, space x that we initially started with, uh, it can lead. Uh, so, we, we saw that how to define it uh, in case of um, uh, any uh, set uh, that is in the space x, uh, Rn. And uh, we can do this by cover, uh, defining the in terms of the covering uh, by some boxes. Uh, the thing that the, the problem is that the way we have defined the limit uh, for these um, uh, coverings, uh, it may or may not exist because uh, of the equal sizes of the boxes. And from there, we came up with the Hausdorff uh, dimension, definition of Hausdorff dimension, where we can have an uh, unequal number, um, unequal sizes of the boxes. And uh, then we defined uh, this uh, family of dimensions, uh, dq, where this uh, d0 is actually our d cap that we defined earlier. And d1 is called as the information dimension. Now, from here, we are slowly going towards the fractal dimension. So, uh, basically, um, we have uh, d1, then similarly, we can obtain d2 and so on. So, it represents basically, it uh, represents uh, the amount of information, information needed, needed to locate to locate a point on x with accuracy l. So, in general p q l can be interpreted, interpreted as the probability probability that the system is in one and the same is in one and the same box when observed at q arbitrary times the so called so this is basically the so called two point iteration uh, two point correlation two point correlation function p 2 l can be estimated then as then as uh, given a set of n points x i on capital X, uh, the distances norm of x i minus of x j comma i n j running from 1 to 3 up to n for i not equals to j are calculated, calculated let m l be the number of distances smaller than l smaller than l then p 2 l may be estimated as p 2 l equals to 1 by 
n times n minus 1 times m l and um, let us call it as equation number uh, 6, 7 and uh, substituting 7. So, substituting 7 into 6 yields uh, an estimate for the so called correlation so called correlation correlation dimension d2 similarly you can have for d3 and so on so uh, this is how we are defining the uh, the the the, the the correlation dimension um, d0, d1, d2 and d3. So, d0 is basically our d cap that we defined earlier and uh, from introducing this uh, d0, d1, d2 and so on we can define the fractal definition. So, I will uh, complete this uh, derivation or this uh, definition in the next class. I will stop here today and uh, we will start from this, um, this equation number 7 in the next class and then we will conclude the definition of the fractal dimension and uh, we will state one proposition, a small proposition and we will try to relate this uh, with our usual uh, chaos theory and then we will move on to the reconstruction part. So, thank you for your attention and I will see you in the next class.